Danny. What you doing? Playing sticky hoop. That sure is swell. Well, me and Mr. Cuddles here were just wondering if you wanted to play house. <laughs> sure, sure. That sounds like the bee's knees. Jessica? I'm going to the store now, honey. I'll be home soon. Uh-oh. Did you just see what happened to poor Danny? That sure didn't razz my berries. Who are you, mister? Why, Danny, I'm Charles Devant from television's Tears of the Heart, but you can just call me Uncle Charlie. My mommy told me not to go on rides with my uncle anymore. <laughs> you little ankle biter. I'm here to talk to you about something very serious. Now, Danny, I don't mean to rattle your cage, but do you know what the cooties are? No. Really? Well, my boy, you should, because you just got them. Is it candy? <laughs> no, it's a fatal flesh-eating disease. Candy. <laughs> what an imagination you have. So, Danny, do you know how you got the cooties? No. Well, it happened when you let that young paper shaker, Jessica, kiss you, allowing the disease to spread. You can get the cooties from something as simple as a quick peck on the cheek, or from a night of backseat bingo. You can trust me when I say the cooties are no cool cat. Gee, gee mister, do, do you think I should go see a doctor? <laughs> probably, Danny, probably. For a better understanding of what the cooties are, let's talk to an expert and get the word straight from the bird. Dr. Wagner has been studying the cooties for years, since its early development as a weapon to use against the Nazis, to its accidental release into the public through toxic spills and rock and roll. Doctor, what can you tell us about the cooties? Well, cooties are usually spread at a young age, anywhere from 6 to 12. Now, the typical carrier of cooties looks a lot like this. The female will spread the disease through a ploy of friendliness, generally through a game that might seem innocent enough at first. Now, these games consist of house, dollies, dress up, and the most deadly, doctor. Now, Doctor, is there a way to get rid of the cooties? I'm afraid not. There are several ways to help reduce the effects of cooties, though. Now, a chemical bath will cause the cooties to shrink, and some researchers have suggested that mercury is the potential cure-all. Mmm, mercury. The burning means it's working. So, somebody infected with the cooties must live with them for the rest of their life? I'm afraid so. However, many cooties infected victims have managed to successfully live out their lives. Such as President Franklin D. Roosevelt. But I don't want to be like FDR. Now Danny, don't get frosted about it. Maybe you should have thought about that before you agreed to play house with that fast dolly Jessica. Now why don't we get you to that chemical bath? Now that Danny is on the stick, learn from his mistakes. Remember, physical contact with the opposite sex, such as submarine races, can lead to the transmission of the cooties. You aren't completely safe from the fatal disease until you're at least 18. Right, Danny? You don't want to end up like Danny or FDR, do you? If you enjoyed this educational film, you may also enjoy our latest film, so you just move next door to a German. Guten Tag!